how's it going? This is Jason Thompson from the Smooth Jazz Sax School. Uh, in today's lesson, I want to show you guys an easy pattern that you can use for diatonic improvisation. Okay, but before we begin, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can be notified when I put out more uh, smooth jazz videos like this one. Also, make sure you go ahead and download the PDF so you can follow along with this lesson. So patterns in, in improvisation play a crucial role in the creative process and the overall musical development of musicians. Okay, they're important for a number of reasons, but I found that it's important to me because it helps me build my musical vocabulary. Uh, it helps with my technical proficiency, which means it helps me to get around my saxophone a lot easier and fluently. Right? It also helps with my air training. It helps me to hear uh, the different intervals. So like if I'm playing another song, I can identify that interval by uh, hearing that pattern in my head, right? And patterns are also important because uh, you can take a simple pattern and you can embellish it, you know, kind of manipulate it, expand on it, and create different improvisational lines. So those are some reasons uh, why patterns are important to learn, okay? Uh, but in today's lesson, I want to show you guys this easy pattern uh, that, uh, that can be used for diatonic improvisation. If you don't know what diatonic means, diatonic just means everything is the same. So everything is going to be in the same key center. So for example, if we're in the key of B flat major. All the notes that are played are going to be coming from that B flat major scale. Okay, so that's what diatonic improvisation is. So the chords that I'm going to play the pattern over are going to be the chords to uh, John Legend's song Tonight. Okay, this is a perfect example of the chords being played diatonically, right? So if we're an alto sax, right, the chords to that song will be E minor, C major, uh, G major, and then D major. Those are all chords that are played in the key of G major. So the, so the song is in G major, concert B flat, but G major for alto sax and C major for tenor sax. So let's go ahead and learn this pattern. So here's the pattern one more time. So the entire pattern, if you notice, uh, goes up a fourth and then goes down a third. And then it repeats, goes up a fourth, goes down in thirds, goes up a fourth, goes down in thirds. Okay, so that's something you can be thinking about when you're uh, playing the pattern. So here's the first part of the pattern. The notes for that pattern is D, G, E, C. Okay, so D, E, G, C. One more time. Okay, from after that C, it goes down a third to A, and then it goes back up to, to D, which is a fourth up from D. So that, those notes are A, D, B, G. Again. And then the last part of it is E, same, same pattern. Okay, same melodic, melodic pattern. All right, so you have E, and then go up a fourth, A, F sharp, D, and then the last note will be G. One more time. So here's a pattern all together. So 
So now I'll show you how you can use it while improvising over a diatonic chords. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe bu button once again and download the PDF. And I'll see you guys next time.